Once it's determined what type of respirator you require, it's important to ensure that it fits properly. Both air purifying respirators and supplied air breathing apparatus must have an effective seal between the face and the face piece. Facial hair can interfere with the seal, allowing contaminants to enter and pass by the respirator. Beards are not allowed. Mustaches only to the corner of the lip and sideburns only to the earlobe. Being clean shaven is the key. Even a day's growth of stubble may interfere with a good seal. Likewise, face and body piercing jewelry must be carefully assessed and possibly removed. Facial scars, dentures, wrinkles, and eyeglasses can also affect the seal with certain respirators. Prescription eyeglasses cannot be worn with a full face piece respirator as the arms of the eyeglasses will break the seal. Alternatives include eyeglass inserts or contacts. Some airborne contaminants are extremely toxic, and if a break in the seal occurs, it could potentially kill you. <sighs> fit tests are designed to ensure a good seal. Negative and positive fit tests, called user seal checks, must always be performed before using the respirator in a contaminated area. A negative pressure test can quickly indicate a problem. Place the palm of each hand over the cartridge assemblies or inhalation points and inhale. The face piece should collapse slightly as one breathes in and no inward rush of air should be felt against the face. You can also do a positive pressure test. Place the palm of your hand over the exhalation valve and press lightly while exhaling gently into the face piece. If no air escapes around the edges of the respirator, the fit is satisfactory. If leaks are detected, the respirator should be readjusted and the user seal checks should be repeated. A fit test must be performed when the respirator is first issued to the worker, if workplace conditions change, and if the worker's facial features change, perhaps due to an injury or change in weight. The fit test is quite simple and only takes about three to five minutes, beginning with a screening of the worker's sensitivity to the test agent. By law, in most jurisdictions, a fit test must be conducted at least once every two years. It is recommended, however, the test be performed yearly and certainly whenever a new maker model of respirator is to be worn. The qualitative fit test is to see if a worker can detect the presence of a particular test agent. Qualitative tests rely on the user's sense of smell and or taste, their olfactory nerve. One qualitative fit testing agent is stannic chloride, an irritant smoke. A variety of other test agents may be used. The respirator is then fitted with the correct particulate filter or cartridge. The worker dons the respirator and conducts the user seal checks. If the test is for quarter or half piece masks using stannic chloride, the instructor following the test kit instructions asks the worker to shut their eyes and keep them closed, otherwise their eyes may become irritated and invalidate the test. The instructor now releases the test agent in and around the respirator as the worker performs seven basic simulated workplace activities. They are normal breathing, deep breathing, side to side head movement, nodding up and down, Three, talking, four, reading, or five, counting, six, bending over, and again, normal breathing. With a proper fitting respirator, the odor should not be detected by the worker. The face piece is adjusted until a satisfactory fit can be achieved. In some cases, a different size, model, or brand of respirator may be needed. You want to be comfortable, but above all, safe. Some airborne contaminants are extremely toxic, and if a break in the seal occurs, it can kill you. No respirator is right for every person or situation. 
Your employer will provide the proper respirator to ensure a good fit. Following the test, it is most important to make sure the correct cartridges are fitted before entering the contaminated work area. Remember, each time you don the respirator to enter a contaminated atmosphere, a positive and negative pressure test must be performed. Quantitative fit testing uses computerized measuring instruments to read the amount of test agent that is penetrating the face seal. Quantitative testing is used when a worker's sense of smell and or taste is below the norm or as required by the job hazards. Remember, whether using qualitative or quantitative fit testing, never forget the importance of a proper fit to your health.